Uh, hey, everybody, I'm live. I am um, live with sad news that Willie Garson, a great actor who I had the pleasure of meeting in 2016 and interviewing, died. And I live with that. sad news that Willie Garson, a great actor who I had the pleasure of meeting in 2016 and interviewing, died. And what he died of, I don't quite know. He's just 57, younger than me. Um, and I'm now looking to find out news accounts what happened. I called publicist friend of mine, actually Ed Losey, because this interview was at the Night of Wonder Stars Oscar party. Uh, let's take a look at Willie Garson. It was a fun conversation uh, that I had with him. This was at the Night of Wonder Stars Oscars party um, in Beverly Hills in 2016. And uh, that I'm about to share with you right now. <laughs> You're smart. <laughs> Why is Sex and City so popular? And how much fun? It seems like we had a lot of fun doing it. We did have a lot of fun doing it. And it was so popular because it was about love. It was only about love. People think that they were responding to the fashions and the location and the right. jokes, but really it was about love of friends, uh, of partners, and holding on to love. That's all it was about. And now every scene, every for all seven years of the show, through two movies, that's all it was about was love. And that's what people really responded to. And also, what I love about Sex in the City is that a guy who dated women who were kind of like that, including my friend Beth, who's a lot like Sam. But it seemed to really give a signal to empowered women. Was there discussion about how the program was affecting society at the time? Absolutely. Thought, you know, absolutely. Because it did, you know, for us, for guys, it was like, oh, look at these women. They talk like guys. Right, exactly. <laughs> Like, exactly. they're just people. Like, it's not like on. this strange... You hear that, Beth? Anyway, hold on a second. It's not, <laughs> it's not this strange other animal. Right. Uh, and uh, that was, I think that was really empowering to a lot of people. What, you, what project do you have now that you are? I do uh, I do this show called The Wife I Go on CBS. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I'm in development for my own show. And we'll see. Or, or if a wife I Go pushes the button yeah. and keeps me there all the time. But yeah. They seem to be using me more and more. So tell us about your character on Five O so we can watch more. Oh, he's a uh, he's a criminal. He's a criminal. Oh, he's <laughs> a lifelong criminal. He's a con artist. I mean, shockingly, coming off a of white collar, he's a con artist again. So uh, something about me has a face that you can't trust. So. And is the show under development? Can you talk about it? No. Okay, got it. God, no. What's your website that we can follow on? You can follow me on Twitter, at Willie Garson. Yes. Creatively named, at Willie Garson. Hey, yeah. What do you think of this man? He's so, he's so used to this. He's so bored of all this crap. Are you having fun? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Hey, thanks. Great to meet you. Right, have fun. Yeah, you know, that's, that's what I, I think about. Is I think about that kid. Uh, and I think about what he's going through. Um, now, you would say, what's the Night of Stars Oscar party is a party that I've covered, um, but doesn't happen anymore, unfortunately. But since 2010, and um, um, I've had the pleasure of interviewing people like Willie and in a number of cases more than once, but what I, what I come away with is what he was talking about with Sex in the City and that it, it, it's a show about love, about humanity and about friendship. Uh, but again, you might wonder what it was that we were laughing about, you know, when we started the video there. And what we were laughing about was the his son made an observation. I'm not going to share it in its entirety because I don't want to insult somebody else. But it cracked me up. And that's when I started the camera, I was already in laughter mode. The night of Winter Stars Oscar party was, was one really big party uh, in the red carpet. 
a lot of fun people to meet, including Willie. But you know, when I when I think of Willie passing, I think of his son, and I'm just devastated. You know, I it really hurts to to have news like this come about, and shockingly and suddenly, and you don't know. And now I'm about to I'm going to see if I can find out what happened, because I am stunned. I am I'm quite literally stunned that this happened. Uh, this news came out. Let me share with you uh, some of the the comments that are coming through here uh, about um, about Willie. And I'm going to switch screens as I I do this uh, so that you can see the the tweets as they come up about how he's remembered by people like uh, like this is Cynthia Nixon. Uh, and Cynthia uh, has said so deeply, deeply sad. We've lost Willie Garson. Uh, we all loved him and adored working with him. He was endlessly funny on screen and in real life, as you saw in my video. He is a source of light, friendship, and show business lore. He was a consummate professional always. And uh, CNN reported that he uh, died. His son says he was 57. And this really hurts. Uh, Nathan, you know, my prayers, young man, are with you. Um, uh, my prayers are with you. Let me read this CNN account and uh, see if it uh, explains anything. Um, it says, uh, actor Willie Garson, known for his role on Sex and the City series and films, has died. According to his son, Nathan Garson, he was 57. Uh, he says, I love you so much, Papa. Rest in peace. I'm so glad you got to share your adventures with me. And we accomplished the son's to son mode on Instagram. Um, and uh, let me see if I can go to Instagram and uh, pick that up and share it. Uh, and there it is. That's by Nathan. Um, it's he says he will be glad he was at peace. Let me see if I can... Uh, Port this over and share it with you so that you can see it without my having to you know, close screens or anything. But uh, hold on a second. Um, I'm almost there. Here. Right here. And there it is. This is what was posted on Instagram. If you can, you'll be able to see this in a second as it comes up. Um, there it is. Okay. That's, uh, you see that? There. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll zoom in to get something uh, closer, and I'll zoom in even closer here. And uh, Nathan Garson says, I love you so much, Papa. Rest in peace. I'm so glad you got to share all your adventures with me and were able to accomplish so much. I'm so proud of you. I will always love you, but I think it's time for you to go on an adventure of your own. You'll always be with me. Love you more than you will ever know, and I'm glad you can be at peace now. You will always, you always were the toughest, and funniest, and smartest person I've known. I'm glad you shared your love with me. I will never forget it or lose it. Wow, that's um, God, what what happened? Um, and Marissa Tomei is followed up here. Love you both dearly. Uh, Jessica Gottlieb, I'm so sad. He loved you with his whole heart. So sorry for your loss. You made our lives better, better and we we're so lucky he brought you into our life. It reads here by uh, Krista Smith. Uh, Kenzie Schoenfeld, so sorry your dad bought so joy to so many. Thinking of you and sending love. So sorry for your loss. Uh, I'm so sorry, Nathan. Your dad loved you so much. He was so proud of you, and you were his favorite part of this whole life, sending love. He talked about you all the time. Your dad was one of the nicest guys I've known, and you're right to so be so proud of him. And you know, you know, that's what I take away is, you know, when I met when I met him and I interviewed him, that's what I take away is his his attention was first on his son, and what his son thought, who his son had to say. Um, he was a true partner there. Uh, and uh, that's what I, I go back to when I 
wow, this is hard. When I when I think of uh, Willie Garson, and uh, again, what I'm talking about, if you're just joining me here, is when I interviewed um, um, Nathan Nathan's dad uh, at the Night of One of Stars Oscar party here, uh, and I'll uh, I'll replay that for you. Uh, particularly in light of the fact that his son, that's his son. If you can see in the corner there, that's Nathan, okay? And uh, I'll i will replay that for you since you just arrived here. <laughs> You're smart. <laughs> Sex and City is so popular. And how much fun. It seemed like you had a lot of fun doing it. We did have a lot of fun doing it. And it was so popular because it was about love. It was only about love. People think that they were responding to the fashions and the location and the right. jokes, but really it was about love of friends, uh, of partners, and holding on to love. That's all it was about. And now every scene, every for all seven years of the show, through two movies, that's all it was about was love. And that's what people really responded to. And also, what I love about Sex and the City is uh, a guy who dated women who were kind of like that, including my friend Beth, who's a lot like Sam. But it seemed to really give a signal to empower women. Were, were, was there discussion about how the program was affecting society at the time? Absolutely. Like, you know, Absolutely. Because it, it, you know, for us, for guys, it was like, oh, look at these women. They talk like guys. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Like, exactly. they're just people. Like, it's not like on. this strange... You hear that, Beth? Anyway, hold on a second. It's not, <laughs> it's not this strange other animal. Right. Uh, and uh, that was, I think that was really empowering to a lot of people. What, you, what project do you have now that you are? I do uh, I do this show called The Wife I've O on CBS. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I'm in development for my own show. And we'll Tell see. Or, or if a Wife I've O pushes the button yeah. and keeps me there all the time. But yeah. They seem to be using me more and more. So Tell us about your character on 5 so we can watch more. Oh, he's a, uh, he's a criminal. He's a criminal. Oh, he's a lifelong criminal. He's a con artist. I mean, shockingly, coming off a white collar, he's a con artist again. So, uh, something about me has a face that you can't trust. So. And with the show under development, can you talk about it? No. Okay, got it. God, no. What's your website that we can follow? Uh, you can follow me on Twitter, at Willie Garson. Creatively named, at Willie Garson. Hey, what do you think of this man? That's Nathan who posted the information about his father and Nathan, I'm, I'm with you, you know, uh, but uh, he was a little man then, he's a man now and listen to him, so. He's so, he's so used to this, he's so bored of all this crap. Are you having fun? Yeah, yeah. Hey, thanks, great to meet you. Right, have fun. You. So like I said, that was, uh, that's Nathan. And uh, wow, I, um, I'm just floored, so. Again, the tributes on his Instagram page by his son, um, and uh, I still don't know. I, I don't know what happened, folks. I don't quite know what he passed away of. His son left the, again. If you're just joining, his son's message is again: "I love you very much, Papa. Rest in peace. I'm so glad you got to share your adventures with me, and we're able to accomplish so much. I'm so proud of you." I will always love you, but I think it's time for you to go on to an adventure of your own. You will always be with me, love you more than you will ever know, and I'm glad you can be at peace now. You always were the toughest and funniest and smartest person I've known. I'm glad you shared your love with me. I will never forget it or lose it. So I something happened, you know. I uh, don't know. What happened? Let me see if I can find the account on CNN. Um, it says that uh, an HBO Max person confirmed his passing and the network honored his contributions to one of its most iconic shows, Sex and the City, in a statement. Willie Garson was in life as on screen a devoted friend and a bright light. For everyone in his universe, the statement read, he created one of the most beloved characters on H from the HBO Pantheon and was a member of our family for nearly 25 years. We are deeply saddened to learn of his passing and extend our sincere condolences to his family 
and loved ones. And they talk about that he played Stafford, uh, Blatch, friend and confidant of protagonist Carrie Bradshaw. And he appeared regularly in the series throughout its run in both films. Um, and uh, says Garson was born in New Jersey, started training as an actor at the age 13, and went on to study at Wesleyan University, according to bio. Um, and his first Hollywood break was when he was in guest roles on Cheers and Family Ties. And um, on television, he went to, on to make a reputation for himself as a beloved character actor. In addition to his roles on Sex and the City, he had reoccurring memorable parts on USA Network's White Collar, ABC's NYPD Blue, and CBS's Hawaii Five-0, as we talked about. Uh, he was most recently slated to appear in the reboot of the series, and just like that, which is set to premiere on HBO Max later this year. Nathan, Nathan was a proud parent of one child, his son Nathan, who you saw in my video and I met. He was also an advocate for organizations that help children find homes through adoption. In January, Garson marked his son's adoption day in an Instagram post saying, best day of my life, always. It's an honor to Nathan Garson today and every day. In the wake of his passing, Garson's many friends and former colleagues expressed their love for the actor. Um, and uh, again, I, I don't know what he passed away of, um, but uh, there it is. You know, um, Willie Garson has passed away, and uh, uh, according to his son, and again, I do not know what if he was ill or what happened, but uh, my prayers are with. My prayers are with Nathan, and uh, God, God, Nathan, you know, God bless you. Uh, that's one photograph there, but the one that I will always, always uh, cherish uh, is 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 this one, which I think I'll I'll just sort of, you know, freeze frame, uh, and um, with this. That's uh, right here, uh, and because um, it it's really I think best to I can't I can never think of Willie without thinking of his son, you know, and that's always been the case since I had the pleasure of of, of interviewing him. And uh, that will always be the case. So this is uh, what I will take away. That's that's Willie. And then there is your son. And uh, here's here's his son right here. And uh, that's what I take away there. Dad by his side. Enjoying, enjoying life, enjoying the life that Hollywood built for him. Something about me has a face that you can't trust. So, and when you show on the development, can you talk about no. it? No. Okay, got it. God no. What's your website that we can follow on? You can follow me on Twitter at Willie Garson, creatively named at Willie Garson. Hey, yeah. what do you think of this man? Nathan. <laughs> he's so he's so used to this. He's so bored of all this crap. But are you having fun? Yeah, that's what happens. Yeah. Those two, that pair. All right, folks, uh, I'll end it right there. Willie Garson, rest in peace, man. Sad stuff. That ends this broadcast. Uh, God bless you. Subscribe to Zenny sixty two. Uh, bookmark oaklandnewsnow.com.